Good morning guys, it's my first day of like lectures and everything today. But look what I woke up to this morning. This is my new feature wall in my room. Oh my gosh, oh there's my hand. Hi. I'm just like staring at it like I love it so much. But anyways, I gotta get up. Mission one is to go on a run straight away this morning. <laughs> Okay, so we're dressed and ready, did my hair, have my water, it's just gone 10, 10, 10, basically. So the reason why I decided to go on a run first thing today was because I knew that everything was going to be released on Moodle today, but I knew it wouldn't be like at 8am, so there was no point me really like hanging around just waiting for it to appear on Moodle. So I went on a run, I'm back now, and I'm going to like check Moodle. It's really strange, but I don't have to be at lectures at set times, even though everything's online, we get it pre-recorded for us. We have to be at like tutorials at set times but i don't have a tutorial today my first one is tomorrow so yeah basically what they've told us is that we will be set weekly tasks every week so that will include like pre-recorded lectures activities so like set readings or quizzes to do we also get set our first assignment or formative essay today this isn't worth anything it's like a first kind of practice one i suppose and i'm pretty sure everything is on moodle because the message in our group chat has said that there is a problem with accessing the online videos lectures so that's a great start but anyways let's see what we can find right let's actually get onto Moodle I feel like every university has Moodle like a virtual learning environment but it's just so weird how everything is on Moodle they also said it would be more like structured because of this online learning thing as in they're gonna set us things to do and tell us how long it should take us so I don't know how I really feel about that but it is what it is weekly learning tasks here we go week one fifth to the 9th of October Okay, there's lots to click on here. For about an hour, I'm gonna sit here and maybe try and get through the first lecture. They've also split the lectures into like mini lectures. Oh, okay, we have the slides. Oh no. We have an error message. There is something going wrong. There's like an internal server error. Like what? Well, this is a bit stressful, isn't it? Nothing's working. Somebody is already emailing UCL, so they're on it. So I'll just wait to see if anyone posts anything in this group chat, which is actually going to be useful. I'm going to try one more time. If I can't get onto that, I'm just going to read the paper that they've set first, which is the hallmarks of cancer. I'm going back to So fun fact about this paper. Back in like 2015, when I was first starting to think about applying to university in Cambridge, I was like, I'm gonna do some research on cancer and I first went to this paper that was published in 2000. As I said, it's the Hallmarks of Cancer, it's a seminal paper and it's quite funny just coming back to it now because I can understand all of it. I was making really detailed notes. But you know, back in the day, back in 2015, I just did not understand any of it and was like, what is even going on? The problem with the lecture slides, the videos, still persists like we haven't heard back from UCL yet so I've just been reading that paper we're just gonna keep going with that but I've just stopped to come down and officially have some breakfast oops so having this melon here basically shock horror right we actually have no oh my gosh one banana this is pleasantly surprising I thought we didn't have any bananas we have one as I said I think I'm just gonna have this melon instead we're low on food we do have this mango but this doesn't look like the best type of mango and we also have sad times this yogurt i do not like the natural one i might actually use this to do my face mask because i use that for my face mask not to eat i don't like it but anyways i'm gonna cut this up and eat it obviously listen for the crack oh there's a bit of a dodgy section but that's okay we can just work around it just cut it out let me love you i've got that song in my head anyways um does anyone eat melon seeds? I've never eaten melon seeds. I looked at the essay assignment brief. It's like a thousand words. A thousand words is literally nothing. But anyways, I don't know if we'll start any of that today because I need to do some research. So I'm gonna cut this up and then I might bring my tablet downstairs to just be reading. So I actually brought my MacBook downstairs, not my tablet. Anyways, I was reading the paper whilst I was just eating the melon and then I made my way back upstairs to finish making notes. The paper was actually longer than I remember it being, but that's probably because I never even finished reading it in the first place. The time is like one o'clock. 
12.57 and I have calls now with other members of the team so other tutors and the problem hasn't been fixed still. I know I keep saying this but I am so excited to launch everything on my website and share it all with you guys regarding my tutoring business but anyways I had my first call and then I had a 15 minute break so I was just doing some admin and then I jumped on a second at 1.30. I basically scheduled each of these calls for 15 minutes back to back. I literally just thought I was gonna get behind with everything, but I realized that we're actually okay. So we're not gonna stress about that. I have four more left, I've had two, and I've also just set up a doodle poll to like organize a group meeting with everyone on the team. Shorties out here playing. Playoffs, first seed, you deserve a jersey, hang it from the nose. There is a lot going on behind the scenes right now, but as I said, I was just jumping on back to back calls for the last four. Hello. My last finished at around 3 pm, and then after that, I just finished officially making notes on the paper. At this point, the hair is in a bun because I was like, I need to change. It's itching the back of my neck. We still cannot access the lectures. So things are going well on day one, but it's fine. I've just been doing other things, making notes. We need to talk about these frames. Stepping up the interior design game here, okay? I am honestly in love. So basically, as I said at the start of this video, it is sponsored by Desenio because these prints are from Desenio. We weren't gonna put them on this wall. We were gonna put them over here above my bed i just thought it would be really cool to have like a statement wall above my bed it wasn't really a question as to whether they would look better above my bed versus around my mirror like ideally i did want them above my bed but but basically we've put them up with command strips sticky strip things no drilling required okay oh my gosh i love it yeah it looks so good. I actually love it. So yeah, basically Desenio makes these incredible prints. They're also minimalistic and they're Scandinavian designs. I spent such a long time picking out the prints because I loved so many of them. They also like update their collections regularly, but they're so minimalistic, the designs. I honestly love them. Eventually I settled on these 10. I also got the black frames to go with them. So I got black metal frames. Emily also got white frames and some different prints, but there is something for everyone on the Zenio. They also ship everywhere internationally and also to the US in like five days. I'm gonna show you them up close in a second, but basically you can get a discount if you click the link in the description box. There is a discount code. You can get a 10% discount using my code HOLLYG10 on top of the 30% discount on the website and then the code will change and you'll get 30% off using my code Holly Gabrielle on the 13th. It isn't valid for very long but if you do want to purchase some definitely start browsing because it took me ages. But anyways these are the ones I did end up picking so let me just show you. You can get them in loads of different sizes as well so this is the biggest I got, but you can get bigger ones as well. But yeah, so I got this pink one, which is just very artsy, just like slaps of paint. Then I got this one with like loads of cats. Obviously we know I am the cat lady at 22. This is like the ocean with a big wave. Yesterday dad was like, what animal is that? And I was like, oh my gosh, it's a surfer. But anyway, the top we have one saying you are beautiful because we need that everyday reminder. A turtle because I just couldn't not. I saw turtles when I went to Australia and we know how I feel about that. A yoga pose. So I got the lotus pose. This one, I love it. The like simplicity of the line art. This is just some text saying enjoy your journey on a pink background. I actually quite liked it. I just thought it was simple and minimalistic. So I have this pink one here and I know it's a different type of pink but I just think it works quite well. A map because I want to keep traveling and then we have another beach picture and then finally we have this one with loads of different words on it but just emphasizing that you should smile, laugh and love. Also be curious right? I just feel like the designs really do come together nicely, they complement each other. Also because like I'm studying from home obviously and I'm gonna be in my room a lot, like I'm in my room a lot anyways but I was just like you know I may as well make my room as nice as it can be. So yeah these new prints just Add a little bit of extra life and dimension to my room and i'm just really really happy with them as you can probably tell yeah i hope you guys like it as well but yeah definitely check out Desenio, and i will also let you know which ones emily chose so i'm gonna go and have lunch because it's that time of day and yeah that is the update you know when you like add new things to your room it just feels like a new room again even though it's not wow holly wow you whack out all the surprises sweet potatoes it is but essentially i just emptied the dishwasher while 
whilst I was waiting for a batch to boil. I saved half so I could have them the next day. And wait a second, we actually spiced it up with frozen cherries, not frozen blueberries today. Wow, stepping up the game. But as we know, the peanut butter drizzle is essential. And it was actually really weird Milka came in the kitchen. She doesn't normally do this, but she must have felt needy. You like some peanut butter and sweet potato? Ooh, she's Obviously, peanut butter and sweet potatoes is not quite for everyone, but I essentially went on a walk after I had my lunch. Dried mango is so good. Oh, they need cleaning. We can access the video lectures now. Somebody posted in the group chat before I went on a walk, but I was like, I want to get out before it gets dark. So I went on my walk and now I will officially start with the lectures. I mean, we're quite late into the day, but it's fine. There are always gonna be technical issues, I suppose. So I essentially started making my way through the first three videos, which together made up the first lecture. And it was kind of like an introductory one. Milka obviously felt like she needed to learn as well. And I didn't even know what she was doing. She was just clearly wanting a lot of attention. But I was trying to make notes. I was just typing them alongside whilst I was watching the video. So my friends, this is a very accurate representation of what online learning is gonna look like from now on. It's basically Holly studying with her cat helper, if you want to put it like that. Sometimes she sits and she doesn't do anything, but other times, as we saw, she likes to climb everywhere. I literally just got off the seat for two seconds and she has stolen it. I'm sorry, can you share? Obviously, the answer to that question is no. A big fat no. But back to what I was actually doing, I finished those lectures and then I had to do a quiz after that and then I moved on to another lecture video before I then basically made a checklist in my bullet journal of all of the things that I needed to do for UCL for my masters basically of that week. So we've officially come to the end of day one. The first day is always a bit like overwhelming because you're like, wow, there is actually so much to do. I mean, I feel okay considering last Monday, as I said at the start, I wasn't feeling too good. When I'm busy, it does take my mind off things, but I know that there are things I still need to address. But yeah, that is week one done. Well, week one, no, don't get ahead of yourself, Holly. Day one, day one, right? But yeah, I've had my food, I've had my shower, and I'm gonna go to bed pretty much. I need to do my teeth and everything. I hope you enjoyed this video like it if you did comment down below subscribe i need to actually quickly go and show you emily's prints because she's home from work hi dude can i show the vlog your prints um yeah look down there look at you <laughs> what are you watching i'm watching a detailed wash day routine curly girl hair oh my oh, gosh can i try on your hair okay your hair is supposed to be curly yeah. okay but can you can you explain why you chose these prints this is not oh, I like yeah okay whatever this is not a print <laughs> i chose this one because it's brief and it's good to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> it was more just like to like stay calm. Okay. Green parts are always nice. I have this one of a female body. Because I thought it was quite sexy. I thought it reflected myself. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I just quite liked it. It's quite minimal. Yeah, I like that. The line art ones. They're really cool. Yeah. And then I went for a, another line art one, which is... Pink. Pink. Uh, I quite like the pastel pink colour. Mm. Oh, quite nice. why do you think... We chose this one, huh? I'm not quite sure. Not quite sure. I mean, my channel's called Orange, so... Mm, like, Orange M. Yeah, Emily's gonna get a plant, plant, and then this is gonna go here. Anyways, I'm gonna end the video. Oh. We can't sleep over here one night. That would be fun. Uh, you might kick me out of the bed, but... We can have, like, a movie night, so sleep over. Okay. Oh, so we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. Check out Desenio down below. Everybody, can you comment so I doubt he needs to put mine up? Mm, yeah, dad is the DIY man around here. I was gonna do it myself, but mum said I couldn't do it. Yeah, then that, I wouldn't have trusted that. Yeah, I wouldn't have trusted myself either, but anyways. Back on this way? No, thank you. It's been good. Nine. Auf Wiedersehen. Say goodbye. Auf Wiedersehen. Do you want to say that again? Auf Wiedersehen. Yeah. Right, that was right, wasn't it? That's good. Yeah, das war sehr gut. Yeah, das war sehr gut. <laughs> Oh, the slide is so weird. Wiedersehen, my friend. Au revoir. Au revoir, s'il vous plaît. Bye. Say hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Wiggle that booty. Go on. Go no. on. <laughs> We're trying to recreate the lotus pose on the ball. I mean, they've got it easily. 
Well, I don't care. Fine, okay. Come on, dude. Lotus pose on a ball. Oh, one leg up. One leg up. Right, <laughs> she's... Oh! So not both, simple twist off. I'm slipping the bones off. Yeah, that's it. Go on, Holly. Your turn. Your turn. Yogi ball. Just grab the leg up, right? I think it's going to be dangerous because you could, like, stack and then fall to the side. Yeah, that actually is quite dangerous. Don't try this at all. Let's just get this tight. Wait, One minute, mum. Wait, mum. <laughs> What, mum? Blind me. We've got our bloody night for this, too. <laughs> Wait, lads. Wait, lads. Lads, lads, lads. Breathe. Oh, um. <laughs> um. Um. Smurf does yoga on Smurf does yoga. Just give me That's a cheating. Hand. Get your hand off that bar. Oh, sorry. Oh, dude. Come on, you got this. Oh, we're at ballet, we're doing ballet now. <laughs> Please don't fall backwards. I'm not, I'm not taking you to hospital. Wait, is that the top, would you say? Here is that the bottom? Well, it doesn't really matter, just get on. 